Hello and welcome to Herald TV News Bulletin with me, Valentin Diyash. For the first time, people living near the coastal beach belt of Kalangut had a peaceful and non-noisy sleep by 11 p.m. Yes, Kalangut locals and visitors slept in peace after many years as cops patrolled the beach to ensure no music was played after 10 p.m. Recently, that on Tuesday, the High Court had directed both district superintendents of police to act against violators playing loud music beyond 10 p.m. without permission and to submit action-taken reports. Meanwhile, Herald TV also spoke to some locals to know what they feel about the same. For the first time, it looks like the people slept early in Kalangut. Kalangut locals and visitors slept in peace after many years as cops patrolled the beach to ensure the music was not played after 10 p.m. Recently on Tuesday, the High Court had directed both the district superintendents of the police to act against violators playing loud music beyond 10 p.m without permissions and to submit action report. Meanwhile, Herald TV also spoke to some of the locals and activists what they feel about the same. Take a look. Our case has been registered against organizers of a party that was held at a beach resort in Ashray Penya till late night watch. And for this, locals have also reacted. उच्चन ऐलान एक आदेश दिल्ला सा जर राज्य धावरा उपरा ने खाद्या विचार मना कि वह खाद्या मौकरा जागेर जर ध्वनि प्रदूषण जाले अनि लाउड स्पीकर लाउन लोकांग त्रास सालो तर ताची पूर्ण जवाबदारी ही स्थानिक पुलिस अधिकारी तालुका उपजिला अधिकारी अंचर अस्तली अनि जर राती धावप्रान पार्टियों शुरू हले आने ते बंद हले ना जालेर तंचर कार्रवाई जातली और सोईशारो उच्च न्यायालय ने दिला पूर्ण तीन तरकेक मूर्जे आश्वेत मान्द्रय राती धावप्रानो ही कहीं वाटरात पार्टियों जाले आसात्या संदर्भात जे लोकल ध्वनि प्रदूषण नियंत्रण समिति चे सदस्य आसात तंचानी पुलिस राती धावप्रान जी पार्टी वाजली त्या पुलिसानी तांचेर कार्रवाई के लिया हा अनि त्या उपरान काही वाटारात जे पार्टी चालूत रावले तांचेर मात्र पुलिसानी कार्रवाई के लिना ध्वनि प्रदूषण नियंत्रण समिति आसा तातुन पिंडने तालु के अत्लेन दोन सदस्य आसा तातुन एक एडवोकेट प्रसाद शाहपुरकर अनि हाउं अमचे काम ऐसा केवल जा वाठारात एकाधी पार्टी वास्ता रात्री धावप्रण ध्वनि प्रदूषण जाले जालेर तानी थेट पेंडने पुलिसांकडे तकरार फोनार करपाची अनि तंका माहिती दिवची अनि तेचा उपरान तांचे काईस अधिकार नस्ता त्या पद्धतीन ध्वनि प्रदूषण नियंत्रण समितीचे वांगडी काम करत नस्ता कालुही जा वाठारान रात्री धावप्रान जे ध्वनि प्रदूषण जाला तांचा विषयी पुलिसांकडे तांचानी मैसेज करून तकरार दिल्ली आसा हे काम सालू दुर्ता पुन जाई वाठारा पुलिसांचा माध्यमातलेन जायते सरकार में आना त्या खातिर हे ध्वनि प्रदूषण जायद आसा अतः उच्च न्यायालय चा न्यायालय चो जो आदेश दिल्लो तेजे पालन पुलिसानी � अशी लोका कल्याण आणि ध्वनि प्रदूषण समितीच्या सदस्यां कल्याणोई मागणी असा ज्या वाठारात पार्टी जातात त्याचेर पोलिसांनी गुन्हो नोंद केला अशी माहिती पोलीस निरीक्षक दत्ताराम राऊत हाणी दिल्या माझे नाव सोनू शेडगावकर भाई हायकोर्टाने एक आदेश काढला की नॉइस पोल्युशन काहीतरी कमी जाऊचे म्हणून मोरजी गावान काहीतरी कमी झाला की वाढले असे तुमका दिसता मकाले दिसता सद्यतरी कमी ऐसा कि जब दोन दिन साले पुलिस अंची कस्ते वाइडली ऐसा, कुण आता ते जब भाईली जी लॉबी इल्ली ऐसा, 
तंका का पेपर वाची ना तंका हाईकोर्ट ऑफ ऑर्डर कहीं खबर ना पे जे हम लोकल आंका जे पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट आते आफोन वरता लोकल पुण जी भाई जी लॉबी इले आसा कि दिल्ली बॉम्बे वाले तेटा कि आपना म्यूजीक घता लोक सतायता अच्छे फाटले दिन मजे शेजार एक वो म्यूजीक घपा लगो हमें जी को ओनर आसो तेका संगले तेका वचान रिक्वेस्ट के लिए आयकान आलो ऑलरेडी मेरे भूगे दोगा शिकतार स्टडी करता मजी मिसेस आ ती ऑलरेडी पेशंट आसा तिका रे भिजाम भी जाए पुन तरी आसान तो आयकान आलो लास्टा हमें कंप्लेन के लिए लास्टा आता तो सत्या कमी आसा पुण आता दोन दीस जो पुलिस भोवता पाका दिशाना कि हि जी गस्त आ सदीत आसूं जाए आता मजे फाटल एक वो हॉटेल जता हाँ सुधा आता आवाज तुम्हें चालू आसा बगतले तेर सुधा तुम्हें लक्ष दौर जे अभी बाकी जी जी आता पुलिस का आसता मेन रोडार भोवता पुण बाकी जी जी हम भितर जी घर आसा कि भितर जे रेजिडेंट्स आसा बारीक मनीस आसता तो कंप्लेन करूँ वो ना क्या तो भिता शांति शेडगा हाईकोर्टान आदेश का नॉइज पोल्यूशन खरी कमी जाए तुमका हाँ। जाए ना हंगा सदा त्रास जता एल्ले दिशा न्हीद मेना ना कि ना भूगे हम आता शिकता सदा हंगा जोगी जता करता पेंचान रिसोर्स कर त्रास संग जाना हंगा चो जी जता हॉटेल कस्टमर रहा झगड़ा थे पाता है हंगा घर कमकू ये खड़े भी तंका मारपा हॉटेल बनला गवर्नमेंट उपरान म्यूजीक बंद करा वाज वाजता जाता सबन दिस कसा सहन करता मैं पेरलाइज एक फाउट जो एटैक गलो मजो सदी प्रेसर वाटा मन फाटले दिन रहा वाता कंप्लेन के लिए बंद के जेव कंप्लेन करतुक नोटिस उपरान बंद के आता वह हॉटेल जला आज तो सबन दीस आवाज आयकान हमारा चाड़ी दिन धक 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 जता आज तो मुझे सबन दीस कलकलूंग जता ये वह आवाज आता यून तुम्हें पे आता सो आवाज चालू आ आता धा उपरान मुटी सबन दीस हाँ मुजीक कसा आयकान सा भूगी दोगा जान शिकत एक लॉ कर एल एल एम करता अपना मम्मी अभ्यास जाएना तो दीस मैं संगपा लगला मम्मी आप तरी पे रूम रहा अपना हम सबन वाटे अभ्यास दिशा तो अपना अभ्यास कहीं जाएना मुझे रात सोड़ हाँ मुजीक वाचता जो जो मजी भूगी हमें अभ्यास कसी करती दोगा जान लाइट एक पंद्रह लाइट आनी इतनी भूगी अभ्यास हूशार हाँ सबन दीस अभ्यास करीत आसत हाँ आनी इच्छा आई कहीं तरी भूगी फुढ़े कर जर वाचता जो जो भाई यून जोड़े भाई वर सरते भूगी हूँ मा तो दिता डीम पड़ी कहीं जो पंचायती हेर कहीं तरी लक्ष घ मेन पंचायत बाकी तो कहटा मुझे सर वगत आ जो पंचायती कहूँ पंचायती एन ओ सी दिता तंक सारे विचार एन ओ सी दूंग जाए मुजीक इतक वीसा सुधा वजोला जो जो कहीं घर में रोतलो हाँ पैली पंचायती चितूँ जाए फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम I have been pursuing the CRZ illegal violations, okay, and I am an NGO member. I fought against corruption and against illegalities in the CRZ, where selective targeting of illegal constructions are carried out and targeted by the authority. The authority always claimed that they need a complaint, need a complaint. Eh? No. But to my good knowledge. Notifications were issued by the High Court many many years ago. To I think 2008, that 400 violations were there, and the panchayat and all the authorities were instructed to act upon this. But unfortunately, the authorities have taken liberty to target people only on basis of complaints when they know that the next door neighbor also is wrong. Okay, there are big constructions, guest houses and hotels built by outsiders. Okay, bought properties which are illegal. From the locals, okay, converted into hotels and guest houses, right in front of the sea, okay, 50 meters, 100 meters away, and still is carrying on. My question is, why are selective targeting done by the authorities? Okay, and why are the authorities finding an excuse that the next door, whose a big construction is going, they are just closing their eyes? Why do they need a complainant? 
I'm happy that the High Court has brought this suo motto now, okay, and made the parties, the authorities responsible for an act which they were always responsible. But High Court had brought it to the same jurisdiction that these are illegal constructions. How many were illegal? Everybody was asked to provide their documentation. And as far as my knowledge is concerned, the CRZ regulations were given to the locals whose original guest houses were, houses were there, which were converted into houses to rebuild houses, not for commercial purposes. Okay. They were given on residential basis. But almost everybody is residential and almost everybody is having a guest house. If you come across the coastal bed from Kandolim, Sikerim, to Anjuna, to Mandre, all are converted. Full coastal belt is full of illegalities. Now, why this corruption has taken place is because of the failure on the part of the authorities, mainly the panchayat, village panchayats, CRZ, okay, who knows there is a complaint, but they will ask you to come and complain, and you have become a target. The complainant becomes a target. Right now, I am a target. Okay, people are asking me why you are collecting only certain complaints. I cannot go against the whole village. Okay. I will be killed. Now, my intent is not to criminalize or punish the locals. They are entitled to their okay, living, their you know uh, daily bread and you know whatever they are yes. earning, but properly. But refrain from complaining against each other. There should be a common law. A story by Prasad Polji and Makbul for Herald TV. While the development of infrastructure is undoubtedly necessary, the maintenance behind it is just as important. As the state government has been introducing newer and bigger projects in the state, the existing infrastructure has been lacking basic maintenance. The Amona Kandola Bridge in Ponda is one of many such cases. Here's a ground report the condition of the bridge. <laughs> A 30-year-old Uttarakhand man working at a cafe was found dead on the beach in Temdwada in Morji. A 30-year-old person from Uttarakhand working at a cafe was found dead on the beach at Temdwada in Morji. The police team went to the site and suspected the deceased identified as Kamal Arya Ram who had drowned in the sea. Inquiries relieved that Ram was a helper at a cafe in Temdwada and was residing at the cafe itself. Further inquiries with the hotel staff revealed that Ram was depressed due to family issues and was found drunk and moving on the beach later during the night after his work. The police ruled out foul play and sent the body for autopsy at GMC hospital. 
Police have registered a case under Section 174 CRPC and LPSI. Sumedha Naik is investigating the case. It's Clinton D'Souza for Herald TV. By January 2023, 100 new buses will be seen moving on the streets of Goa to add on to better public transport services. Furthermore, under the Smart City Initiative, another 48 buses will be allotted to the KTC only for Panjim City, said KTC Chairman Ulas Tuenkar on Sunday. He further added that Margao bus stand will be upgraded and developed soon. Watch. More than 148 buses will soon be seen in Goa. Even the Margao bus stand will be upgraded and this is already been discussed with the Union Minister Nitin Gadkari and the project is most likely to cost more than 200 crores, said the KTC bus chairman. He also said that by January, new buses will be deployed in several cities and parts of Goa. Take a look. We have 100 buses already in the last two months in Hyderabad. तो ये हमें वसंत जी पोने ला इनके काम चला जब तें जाने एक्चुअली हम का दिसंबर परिंत में मर पाजा हमने पूर्ण मगर साथ जो जनवरी ऐसे पाव दिए ऐसे दिस्ता ऐसे मर बस इतने बार हम का स्मार्ट सिटी अंडर आये आने एक फोर्टीड बसी मर पाजा पंजे स्मार्ट सिटी अंडर इधर वन फोर्टीड बसी हम जो पाजा नितिन गडकरी यानी ना अनेक बोचिचे हम का गरज हाथ यार मंडे दीदार में संगला अतः जिधर रोकने दम जो मिनिस्टर हम जो ट्रांसपोर्ट अने हम जो एमडी दिल्ली जो अपॉइंटमेंट कर लाये पुलिया दोनों तीन साइंट वास्तव जाता अंते वसन मागी ते सविस्तर उल्लोन ते जो मागी अने कितने बोची अने अने हम जो कुप्चे � अने त्यागते त्यागे ऐसे जाते हैं ना फाइनेंस हेल्प करता हूँ शाला तो त्यागते बुलों पर खाते रहे कुल्ला दोनों तीन दिशा में हम जो बस पाजा मड़का बस स्टैंड से किधर मड़का बस स्टैंड एक तो तीन तो त्यागे इधर रहा कि आमी तो ये हम का बड़ा एक बड़ा बस स्टैंड कर पाजी करा सा तो एक्चुअली तो � ล่ะเจ้าเจ้าเป็นที่เจ้าเจ้าเป็นที่เจ้าเจ้าเป็นที่เจ้าเจ้าเป็นที่เจ้าเจ้าเป็นที่เจ้าเจ้าเป็นที
प्रत्येक स्कूला सुधा जवर जवर मैं गोई जी शंबर स्कूल तंका स्कूल बसी जी गरज आंने डिमांड के लिए क्या सो फाटले दिन एक प्लेन के प्राइवेट बसी जर दिता आनी किटर प्रमाण जर चलोपा जर दिता अंत एक कैंडर का सो कैंडर का थोड़ा जो जवर जवर वन फोर्टी कितने तरी लोक रिस्पॉन्स आला ओनर आनी आता कितने किलोमीटर प्रमाण तेज घोपे ये डिस्कशन जो रेडी आसा तो बसी घून स्कूल भी दी जिद्रे फॉर टीवी The Women and Child Protection Unit of the Goa Police has arrested one more person in connection with the sexual assault of a minor boy from Bicholi. Women and Child Protection Unit of the Goa Police has arrested one more person in connection with the sexual assault of a minor boy from Bicholi. Rajchari 33, who was allegedly an accomplice of the main accused, self-defense trainer Kapil Deulkar, was arrested on Friday. Kapil is in custody for sexually assaulting multiple minor boys under the guise of performing a medical examination. Chari, who allegedly sexually abused the child, the children, after offering them chocolates, money, and cell phone recharges, has been booked under provision of POSCO Act. The victims are mostly from low-income families and too afraid to speak up. Clinton de Souza for Herald TV. After a complaint was registered by a local Arjun Bedardolakar from Kalangut that an unknown accused person took him in his car and dropped him on the way and thereafter the accused alighted from the car snatched his gold chain from the neck weighing 10 grams worth 50000 rupees and cash of 9 and a half thousand rupees total worth 59500 the accused fled away from the spot with the gold chain and cash however with no time he was placed behind bars years more after a complaint of Arjun who is a resident of Thiwaiwada Kalangut Barthes Goa offence was registered to affects that Kalangut Tito Kalangut Barthes Goa one unknown person took him in his car and dropped him on the way and thereafter accused lighted from the car and snatched his gold chain from the neck and a complaint complaint and weighing about 10 grams worth 50000 and cash of 9500 all worth 59500 was further accused fled away from the spot with the gold chain and the cash in this connection an offense by karangut psi cr number 237/2022 under section 323 356 379 ipc stands registered and investigation was taken up for all the hard works were made to trace the accused agustino carvalho at all possible places of his hideouts by karangut police inspector personally said staying at arambol keri area for staying there continuously two nights along with the staff by hiding his identity the accused finally was apprehended at arambol penne goa today accused agustino carvalho is a hardcore active criminal and is having more than 20 serious crimes registered against him in various police stations in goa the accused is also wanted on non bailable warrant cases in other police station and he is suspected to be involved in the theft case of other police stations in goa It is Prakash Gadekar for Herald TV. On Sunday, several locals along with the youth and kids pulled up their gloves and got to work to make sure their village, especially near Daboli Airport, is clean. Yes, on Sunday, locals came out with a mission, a mission to keep their village clean. Watch. On Sunday, several locals along with the youth and kids pulled up their gloves and got to work. to make sure the village especially near Dabolim airport is clean yes on sunday locals came out with a mission that mission is to keep the village clean Clinton Souza for Herald TV The World Cup fever just continues to burn and get hotter day by day making it better and exciting for all football lovers across the world Today in the story from Qatar we will show you how Goans who are living and working in Qatar are welcoming and greeting other Goans who are visiting their country to witness the biggest ongoing sport tournament the FIFA World Cup What's the special story The World Cup fever is on and it is getting excited day by day today in this story we will show you 
some of the glimpses that are happening in Qatar, where Goans who are residing and working in Qatar are welcoming and greeting other Goans who are visiting the country to witness the biggest ongoing tournament, FIFA World Cup. Watch. I have with me Mr. Rene Costa. He is from Fatoda, Goa. And it is a, watching the World Cup is like a dream come true for him. So it was possible because of John and the efforts of the Goans in Qatar. And the most delighted person is his son. So he will tell us more about how it was possible um, for his father to travel to Qatar to watch his World Cup, which is a dream come reality. Thank you. So from the from the from a young kid, I always saw my dad listening to the match all night on a little radio, and then it became TV, and he would stay up all night, and I hardly watched. When the game came so close to home, it all happened in the last minute, thanks to John, who you know called me late, and he said, "Let's make it happen." Energy instrumental. Everyone, a whole bunch of people. Within two weeks, we're here and we got the match of his heart's desire to watch Portugal play. So, couldn't be better than that. Thank you. Sixty years I've been living to see my team and thanks to my son. So Viva Portugal! Viva Portugal! Viva! Okay, basically, I'm a, like a, Ronaldo is a, like a childhood fan, and we are so crazy about the Portugal team. And in fact, that's why I just decided before coming to Doha, I'm going to like you know compose my own song, and it's called as Forza Portugal. And it's been so amazing over here. I've uh, watched the matches of Portugal and all, and it's really an amazing experience. And um, Beppy, you also have been into music, besides being a nurse by profession, you are part of the church uh, group. Uh, and so, which team you support? Portugal, <laughs> definitely. And yes, to be frank, Ronaldo. <laughs> I support Ronaldo in every way and I wish and I hope that he will win the cup for Portugal. And Pearl, so you also are a Portugal fan? Yes, Ronaldo Portugal. That's me. Yes, Ronaldo. So, so how many matches you have uh, watched? I watched so far five matches, hoping to get tickets for finals and semi-finals. So, uh, out of the five, uh, Portugal, how many? Uh, yesterday's match I watched. Portugal. Okay. So, I was a bit disappointed. So, there are a lot of people who want to come close to Ronaldo. I uh, have to have a selfie. Uh, so, you are also one of them. Yes, uh, definitely. But he is going to take selfie with me. He is not going back to Portugal without taking selfie with me. That's for sure. This is Armstrong for Herald TV. That's all we have in today's news bulletin. For more news and alerts, please follow us on Twitter at Oheraldo Goa and also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Herald TV. Thank you and keep watching Herald TV.